Hey guys, me. We're gonna be playing a little Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I already played the game a little bit, and I do only have four characters. So I'm shit now. I'm gonna be playing as Kane, so we can get lucky foot and better items. You're just taunting me now. Oh no! Not this guy. No. Hate Spiderhead. Oh god. Get away. Flies and fly in formation. Take that. We need to find the item room. Oh wait, tarot card. The high Priestess, Mother is watching. I'm pretty sure this is the card that summons one of Mother's uh, mom's foot. And it just comes down and wrecks whatever it hits. Say that for the boss fight. But it also has a chance to come down and destroy me. Ooh, shot. Damn. Okay, we're doing good. What is this what I think it is? Old mushroom. Fire rate up. It's not very useful. Yeah, look at that map. We are in the center. Now we're in the bottom. Okay, fuck that. Okay. We did get old mushrooms, so that's pretty good. We at least have higher fire rate. Oh, fucking monstro. Fuck you. Oh my god, that was amazing. Jesus juice. Damage and range. What's King crying about? Jumping into the basement and dying. Okay. Ooh, item room. Yay. Ooh. Charm of the Vampire kills heal. That will be useful with only two health. Uh, two hearts of health. Oh, fuck you. No, too many guys. Um, if you guys don't know, this game's actually, um, if you guys have not played Super Meat Boy or any of the games made by Mr. Ed McMillan, one of my favorite game developers, or any game developer, this game is very large. It's basically an homage to a lot of top-down, you know, exploration games. Like, the original Zelda was a big influence on this game. I'm just taking all the damage right now, but, like, it doesn't matter because when I get killed, they heal me. Yeah. He may die. Correct. He's so cute. Boom. Boss fight. Larry Jr. Oh, it's a single Larry Jr. Uh, most times in it, this boss will spawn like a maze kind of corridor. And yes, if you shoot parts of it in half, it grows into another Larry. And... No, de no devil deal. What the hell? Tarot card. The chariot, ooh. Ooh, pills, let's eat them. Telepill. Wait, wank. Oh no, I got. Damn you, McMillan. Why is it always when I actually do something good, I get teleported somewhere else? Fuck yeah. Could have blown a, a hole in the wall, but I don't really feel like wasting the bomb. Let's see, secret room. Secret room? Damn it. I'm not gonna waste all my bombs, I only got two left. Pick that up. Let's go. Next boss. Well, next floor. Oh my god, he just got wrecked. Next. Oh, it's a little turrets. You see this? This is what I hate. This, these guys are, admi are invincible until they attack. They hurt now. By the way, red chests are devil, ch are devil chests, you know, good old saints. Well, oh, thank you. Tell thank you. Be something good, please. <gasps> if only I had brimstone, this would be a godsend. This thing makes a giant, like, radius explosion of damage. Oh, got one. Sometimes mushrooms also drop items as well. Ooh, I'm glad I used that. I mean, they died there, but I got enough kills to heal me. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
If I had more health, this would be a way better run, but I have, like, barely any health at all. Oh, shit. I nearly took that like a champ. We couldn't find item room. We're not leaving any of the floors until we find item room. It'd be a waste, man. We didn't go down. Let's go that way. Look how weird my character looks. Look how weird Kane looks right now. He has the vampire haircut, covered in Jesus juice. That sounds so wrong. And he's wearing a box. He's going Metal Gear Solid on this shit. There it is, yes. 2020, hell yeah. That's exactly, I was. I thought I'd get something worse. Oh, oh my god, look at that face. It's scary as hell. Okay, let's go to the boss fight. We have one heart of health. So we may not survive. Oh wait. Ding. Two hearts of health. We still may not survive. We have to carry it though. Oh, it's Chubb. Ah, unicorn. My little bony. Rack. Why are there no devil deals? I want to make a deal with the devil. Roid rage. Speed up and range. That's good. That's good. It's actually a pretty decent build. Not overpowered well, like I want, but... You got shit from your mom. Okay, that was pretty funny, you have to admit. His own parents gave him shit for his birthday. Literal shit. What the fuck is this? You say you want a lot of shit for your birthday. Ooh, gold chips. I was about to blow this guy up if he didn't give anything good. Thank that guy. Can't defeat me. Oh god, the head spider. Can't even move. 2020. Are you serious? Are you just gonna sit there? Oh, that's a Mark Rock. Mark Rock is good item. Got you. Telepill. Can't hurt. Ooh. Oh. Oh shit, champion. I'm not playing a hard mode. This game also is pretty fucked up. You can't tell by some of the enemies being dead children. Or children infested with spiders or uh, really anything of the sort. Also, once you beat Mom for the first time, which I already have, you unlock the level. There are tunnel levels. Going from the basement to catacombs to like caves to your mother's womb. Like, you literally go like, into a place called womb or utero, which is all, you know, another word for inside a vagina. And basically, you just you fight through there and then you eventually kill your mom. You kill her heart. And then there's also a um, another boss in there called It Lives. There's also a. Um, there's just so much F fucked up shit in this game, but like, it's such a good game that people like me can't stop playing it. Let's see what the shop has. Yeah, I haven't donated anything yet, I was done. Blue map has appeared in the basement. I'm pretty sure that's a map that, that lets me see all the secrets on the map without having the map. Because, like I said, this game is a lot like old-fashioned, top-down, you know, exploration games. You have to find items that increase your whatever. The world, okay? What this one is. Let's try not to risk losing any health. Yeah! Strength! We have power bring range. Ah! Get out of my way, bitches. Ooh. Item? Best friends. Friends to the end. Pretty sure it explodes. Oh shit. Yep, he does. He's gonna leave that crime scene. Let's keep this card with us. Tarot cards are pretty useful, except for the few that just do nothing, like spawn like um, blood bank machines or anything like that. Oh, mega fatty. Oh god. It's terrible. Oh god. I got hit by fatness. Hammy's head. He inhales, and then if he inhales too hard, he vomits. Oh god. 
and he shits out enemies. Literally shits out enemies. Oh god, thank you, he's dead. Cat of nine tails. Speed up, damage up. What's our damage right now? Pretty good. Pretty good. We got four more levels. Oh my god, dude. I really hope this doesn't happen to him as a kid. If that happens to any child, like... <laughs> that's just terrible. Oh god. Flies that explode into blood. Damn it. Wrecked. The thing is with, this, with Tammy's head, it's, at, it's a one-room charge. It means as soon as I use it, I can just pull it right back out and use it again in the next room. Boom. What is this? E. coli. Turdy touch. Oh, I think I know this item. It's the item that when you get hit by enemies, you literally you drop like the shit item. Well, not the shit item. You literally, like, your character like shits. Oh, I got two hearts of health. There's no way I'm going to get through the boss oh. fight. Uh, Fucking, I got one hour health, and no way I'm getting through the boss fight. Well, 2020 it does help though. Oh, fuck, fuck. I need to get enough kills. When am I gonna have enough kills to get a um a kills heal thing? No, no spawners. What the f oh, you. I didn't even see you. Hold on. Yeah, those skulls are invincible. You can't kill them once you kill the enemies. If you couldn't tell. There we go. Now I got my heal. Let's bomb this to make a bridge. Yay, drugs. Range down. Okay, but I had a ton of range anyway. Got our health back. Jesus Christ, I'm flying. Cubo, no! Dark heart. Ooh, no, fuck you. Heart. Okay, good, good. We gotta find that ball. There's a boss room. Right as I said, let's find the boss room. Oh my god, has to be the fucking most butt hurt enemy imaginable. Oh, it's when the enemies hit me, they take, they turn into shit. Literally. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Okay, whatever. What's in here? Oh, come on, it's a mini boss. Right before the main boss, really? Holy shit, I'm rich. Okay, thanks for the half heart, faggot. Monstro 2. Come on, I already insta killed you. Stay dead. Those flies make blood. Oh shit! Fucking has brimstone ability. Why am I not getting any deals with the devil? Is my problem. Like really? I, I'm fucking Kane. If you guys don't know, this game's also heavily and heavily, heavily pushes. It really pushes with religious belief. Every character in the game is somehow related to the Bible. Cain, obviously, if you guys don't know this, if you guys didn't pay attention in fucking mm. Sunday school, Cain is from the story of Cain and Abel. Cain basically is the first murderer. He killed his own brother because he got jealous of because God's like, yo, you gave me good stuff for sacrifice. And, you know, obviously, when you're when God's favoring your brother over you, of course you're going to get pissed off and then kill your own brother. Oh, what? oh champion, champion. No time for coffee. Ooh, another spirit heart. I see the world. The world again, okay. Basically the Okay, the world card wants to see the entire map. That's pretty good. Oh shit, mom hands. God damn, mom. Ooh. Devil. Devil chest. Oh shit. Yeah, the devil can be a dick sometimes. If you guys didn't know. <laughs> Like I said, the other the other characters are obviously very heavily. Um... Oh, God. sorry about that. My nose has been really irritated. 
Um, the other characters are very heavily influenced by the Bible, as in the main character Isaac being from the tale of the Binding of Isaac, or whatever you like to call that story, and it goes by many names. Basically, we're Abraham, old, super old descendant.